Some of us are fortunate enough to find a hobby or pastime in our childhood that we continue through our lives. Well, Wayne Harris up in Russellville, Kentucky is such a person. For him, making things out of wood started way back in grade school. And as Rob Wiles discovered, he's at it more than ever now that he's graduated into retirement. It isn't very often you find Wayne Harris sitting in an easy chair. Even though he's retired, he's much too busy to sit around. You're more likely to find him in his woodworking shop, continuing a love that began when he was only a kid. I've always uh, had a saw or a hammer in my hand just about ever since I was old enough to walk. <laughs> <laughs> the grade school that I was going to, I'd go out at recess and, and find me a, a buddy that was working there and I would uh, bar his saw and his hammer and, and a few pieces of scrap wood and make birdhouses and sell them to the teachers. I bet Wayne could still turn out a great birdhouse, but his tastes have changed a bit. But I started out making just a basic looking jewelry box out of different kinds of wood and uh, I would cut pieces and uh, glue them together and I'd have some of my first jewelry boxes had 118 different pieces of wood and all different colors and everything and a lot of people really like those and now some of the boxes I'm making is uh, made out of burl that comes it's just more or less a knot on a tree you know and a lot of people like to look at those and, and try to figure out what I did to them. <laughs> Boxes, bowls, works of art made from unique wood that Wayne takes particular pleasure in not wasting. I've got a, a machine that goes on my lathe that I can cut just rings out. Uh, I can take a three quarter inch thick piece of wood and uh, cut rings out of it and make them fit together. That way you don't waste a, a, you know, a foot square of exotic wood trying to make a mold or something. And I'll mix the woods and mix the colors, you know, to what I think looks better together. It usually turns out looking better than what I expected. <laughs> Wayne is one of those men who finds great pleasure in his work. I just really enjoy doing it. You know, sometimes uh, my wife wants me to come in for supper and I just, I'm having more fun than eating, you know, so. <laughs> That's about all I can tell you. I just love it. Woodworking isn't the only obsession that has stayed with Wayne since he was a kid. I never had a train when I was a kid. Well, he's got one now, by golly, with just about everything hand-built by him. Does the backyard railroad need a covered bridge? Well, no problem. I just built it from scratch. I couldn't find anything to make a roof out of like I wanted, so I took some uh, flashing, like you flash your roof on your real house, and pressed each one of those sheets, they're an inch and an eighth by five inches, each sheet is, and made four or five hundred of them, and, and nailed them on there, just like a real roof, a real tin roof. Well, you say that like it's just nothing. Oh, I just made four or five hundred of them. And <laughs> well, you know, like I said, my boys, they said you need something to do, but you know, I'm having a time, a real time of my life doing this. <laughs> a railroad has to have people, I mean, those hobos like it here. Others have places to live. There's a house that was this a miniature house. It's, uh, same as my grandmother and granddad's house. Uh, of course, it never had electric lights, but mine has electric lights. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne's family figures into other parts of the layout, like the whole town he built. Okay, does this town have a name or is it just a town? It's just a town. Just a town. Well, we got all kinds of stores here. I built all of it and uh, Briley's used cars, that's my grandson, and then Harris Grocery is everyone's. Mm -hmm. And Kelsey's Pets, that's my middle granddaughter. And the saloon, I don't know whose that is, that just slid in there, you know. Maybe somebody will come along and claim that later on. <laughs> and Alexis's Sporting Goods. Uh -huh. And then we've got Maddie over here, 
Matt is now salon and it's up this rear door upstairs. You got to go up in the back to go upstairs. Is she a teenager place. or something? Worried yeah. about her name? Oh, that's yeah. good. That's yeah. good. She uh, is. This looks like the diner's up for grabs yeah. still, maybe. Yeah. We, that's very, very cool. Yeah. Now, so do these stores there, they don't necessarily represent the personality of your grandchildren, just No, no. That, uh, they, well, they told me what they wanted. Okay. You know, and <laughs> All I, right. I did, did it that way. Uh -huh. So you can see with all the woodworking and backyard empire building, you won't find Wayne in the easy chair too often. And even when he's settled in there, his mind is thinking up the next project. There's one that seems to get everybody's attention that I've got sitting by my easy chair in the den. It holds my magazines and my remote control and my fingernail clippers and <laughs> And everything is right there, you know. I don't have to get up. Mm -hmm. And all my buddies, I just think that's the grandest thing they ever saw, you know. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the only one I ever made. Like all of his creations, unique, just like the man himself, Wayne Harris of Russellville, Kentucky. <laughs>